Whiskey Jason here, Whiskey Live Dublin 2022, together with Graham Miller. And you are at Dunville? I am the distiller at Eklundville. It's not even yes. Dunville, it's Eklundville. Exactly, yes, very, very good. Beautiful, beautiful distillery, by the way. Thank you. I was there 2018, I think. Mm -hmm. And then 2019, I had the possibility to interview people here at Whiskey Live. Yeah. Now, you are the master distiller there. Well, let's say I'm the head distiller. You're the head distiller. <laughs> All right. Very, I very good. I have a few more years experience to get under my belt before I, I call myself a master distiller. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> but you have, you said before, um, over 90, 95% of everything distilled there you have yeah, done. Yeah, Shane did the initial ones in 2014. Yeah. And then I, I came along in 15. Yeah. And took, took everything on. Yeah, very, very good. Now, um, what I remember correctly, I did the tour. Mm -hmm. And the very first question that was asked, who loves gin? <laughs> <laughs> I was there for the whiskey. I had ninety-five percent of the people that were there for your gin. Ah, okay. So back okay. then, so you um, distilled that as well as yes. well as your vodka. You're doing. You made some great stuff, I think, right? Yeah, yeah. I think it's it's called Down Well. Yes, yeah. it's got a lot of prizes, yeah. a lot of awards, yeah. a lot of stuff like that. But I'm not here to talk about that. Don't worry. I'm here to talk about your whiskey. Mm -hmm. Now you do have this um, iconic. Um, um, uh, brand Dunville's. Um, tell us a little bit about that. So Dunville's is a brand that was originated in Belfast yeah. in the 1800s and it was one of the biggest brands in the world. Mm -hmm. uh, probably one of the biggest pr production facilities in the world. Yeah. And uh, it survived and thrived fr from the mid 1800s all the way through to the mid 1900s. Yeah. And we inherited the brand, I guess, in 2012. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we wanted to bring it back to the top table, as Jonathan always says, mm -hmm. you know, the top table of, of world whiskies. Yeah. And so we've set about doing that. A lot of our um, key releases in the last couple of years have been single cast. Yes. So we're continuing to do single cast releases, big sherry finishes. Yes. We'll finish in sherry for two years, three years, whatever we think it takes. Right. Uh, and also, we are adding to our core range of VR dumbbells. Yes. Oh, those uh, are this good. This year. Yes. Yeah. So, <laughs> we, alongside the 10 year PX, mm -hmm. which is this year's age that we're bottling, yeah. we have uh, new Palo Cortado and Oloroso VR mm -hmm. products coming through yes. as well. Some of them were distiller exclusives, if I remember correctly. Some of them were, yeah. yes, but these will be core oh, bottlings good. at 46% ADB. Yep. Exactly. The, that was yeah. the cast strength, that was the distillery only. That's right. Now, the question that's burning, burning on my lips here, when will I be able to buy your own juice? Ooh. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> look, he's smiling now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, we will. We also have the Old Cumber brand in yes. our portfolio, and uh, uh, that will be later on this year, so October, November this year. Yay! And alongside that, we hopefully will be able to bring out um, the first Ecklinville bottling as well. Uh, but Old Cumber is mainly Ecklinville's spirit. Yeah. And this time around, it could be 100% Ecklinville's spirit. Okay, hey, very good. That's not on the market yet. That'll not be in yet. the fall. Be, very, yes, very in the fall. Yeah. How many brands do you have? Uh, well, <laughs> well, aside from the gins, I know we've got two. So Dunville's obviously yep. Old Cumber. Yep. We uh, have Matt Darcy's, which yep. is another county down historic mm. brand as well, based in Newry. Yep. Uh, the distillery itself exactly. is in Newry, which is just across the border. And uh, we have, I think, well, I guess we have the Ecklinville yep. brand as well. So mm. some of the specialist bottlings that come out in the future may well be under the Ecklinville yeah. banner. Right. But we like to leave things a little fluid. Now you have a very, I'm going to call it a cult following. As soon as a single uh -huh. barrels, um, I get an email and it'll be at 10 o'clock your time in the evening and at 10.01 it's sold out. That can, that has happened a few times, yeah. <laughs> yes, a few times. Yeah, yeah, a few I think times. more than once. It's amazing. Yeah. I mean, you have great, great, a great following. You have people that just love your brand and so on. You're active on social media as well, aren't yeah. you? Yeah, yeah, you're doing a good job there. And so that's great. Um, that's just amazing. Now we're standing in front of something called 1808. Yes. Right? So there's a story here and I'm sure you can tell a little bit about this story. Don't let the bottle drop, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> so 1808 is our, is a, our blend. Yep. And uh, 1808 is actually the first year that we can trace sure. a Dunville back to whiskey business. Yep. So uh, there was a Dunville in, in uh, business called uh, Napier and Sons, which was a tea oh, blender in okay, Belfast, yeah. who joined in that year. 
and quite quickly seemed to have risen to the risen through the ranks, became a partner, and mm -hmm. whiskey blending was one of their activities yeah. within a few years. So hence the name 1808. Yeah. It is of course because we are doing it, we don't do it in a simple way. There's nine different liquids in our <laughs> blend. There's nine. <laughs> so we have grain, obviously grain is a base. We have grain in new casks also. So this is a little um, bit your baby, right? Yeah, we have pot still, <laughs> we have single malt, we have a little taster of Ecklinville pot still in oh, there. Oh, okay, so, uh, there is some of your own yes, in there. Ah. Yes. And it's, this is a, a whiskey that we want to take to the world now. Yep. This, is, this is our sort of um, introduction to Dunville's. Yep. Um, it's a whiskey that you should be able to enjoy. Neat, yep. over ice, a highball, yep. any way you want to do yep. it. And uh, we'd love to see that doing really well. So um, excellent, yeah, excellent. What's the price point here in Ireland? Or, uh, I'm sorry, you're in Northern Ireland. So well, in Northern it's Ireland, it's it's a, a, around the thirty-three pounds mark. Yep. Yep. So wow. You Very can, good. If you, if you look on the various uh, websites, you'll see whatever the price. Somewhere between time. thirty euros and fifty dollars is where you can yeah, end up at. Yeah. 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 Very, very good. So this is something, and then your own stuff. That's great. Yeah. So now one last question: Irish whiskey is booming. Yeah. It's been moving for the last 10 years, is what I'm going to say. What's going to happen, in your opinion, uh, according to your opinion, for the next 10 years? <laughs> oh, God, what a question. <laughs> yeah, I know. I've uh, asked everyone. Most well, of... I mean, I can talk from our perspective. Yes. And we want to continue to grow, obviously. Yep. Um, we've, we're in lots of new markets this year. We've been yep. doing a lot of work in the export yep. um, end of the business. And I guess we just want to, to have more and more people enjoy our, our products. We, as, as a Dunville's story, want to continue to, to ploy that furrow of uh, really, really good sherry finished yeah. single malt whiskies. Yeah. And we want to bring Old Cumber back yeah. with it as a pot still. Yeah. Um, so th those are our key focus mm -hmm. areas for, for the next few years, yeah, for sure. Beautiful, beautiful. Looking forward to it. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much for your time, Graham. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.